The Recon 200 Gen 2 is a great entry level headset, but it lacks a little bit of comfort. I'm breaking it all down for you guys. Coming up, James G, Next Level Gaming, and this is The Rundown. <laughs> What's happening everybody? James G, Next Level Gaming, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Rundown. Today we're taking a look at the Recon 200 Gen 2 from Turtle Beach. And I like what they've done, and they're starting to release some of their flagship headsets in Gen 2 forms, like you've seen with the Stealth 600 and 700. Uh, one of my favorite headsets of the year is definitely the Recon 500 right here. But the Gen 2 of the Recon 200, which was a pretty big selling headset for Turtle Beach because of that you know, entry-level price tag, uh, the Gen 2 does stack up quite well to some of the other headsets. But to me, some things were missing. Uh, for me, with my jumbo ears, I want to talk to you guys about the comfort level right off the bat on the headset. Uh, it seems like the ear cups are just a little bit too small for my ears. I do feel a little bit of that clamping force on my ears right towards the bottom. I'm um, still able to game with it. It's still, you know, somewhat comfortable, but if obviously if you have bigger ears like me, you're going to run into that same uh, issue. It's extremely lightweight. You don't feel any of that clamping force here or any weight, you know, sitting on top of your head, whether you're with a hat or without a hat. But uh, I just want to, uh, you know, just showcase that uh, you might lose a little bit of comfort if you have bigger ears like me, but it still feels cool on my ears. Love what they've done with that uh, meshing athletic meshing that uh, Turtle Beach has implemented on these uh, on this headset so it's still comfortable but keep that in mind when you're looking at picking up your next headset uh, let's talk some features on the, um, the headset itself uh, if you want to really amplify uh, the features of this headset Guys, the Recon 200 controller, if you haven't seen my review, it's just in the description below. Uh, definitely pair this together with the Recon 200 Gen 2 and you'll definitely increase your audio uh, you know, experience with this headset. Uh, it's got the 40 mil drivers on it. You've got all your features located on the left side of the uh, of the headset itself and you're gonna see here that um, on the left side here, you've got your flip down mute. Boom, if it's up, you're obviously muted. If it's down, you're ready to go. All the, uh, you know, the dials are located here. You've got your mic monitoring, which is always on. You've got a bass boost always on. Uh, you've got the volume of your headset up here as well. And then you're able to choose uh, between PS5 and Xbox on here. So if you plug it into one of the controllers, you'll be able to uh, tweak that. And I'm, uh, it's gonna, you know, uh, take into effect which console you're actually uh, playing on. So price tag, very minimal, $59.95, like I said, US dollars, Canadian, you're probably looking upwards towards uh, close to 80 bucks after tax, uh, whatever it may be. So very, very, you know, uh, entry level headset, but don't let that, you know, fool you because this is compatible across a lot of other devices. I mainly use this for my Nintendo Switch. Uh, I love that I've got that, uh, you know, that ability to plug it into my PC, my Switch, my PS5 controller, PS4, Xbox, whatever it may be. So really well done what they've done there with that minimal price tag, but that versatility is definitely uh, there. It's still comfortable, but keep that in mind, like I told you with that ear cup there. Uh, I like how the mic monitoring is, you know, always on. The bass boost is always on, so you're packing that punch from those 40 mil uh, drivers. The audio quality from Turtle Beach is never, uh, you know, to me is never deterred from like what they've they've done with some of their higher end headsets. It's always been amplified. You're always hearing those footsteps close by. You're always hearing those gunshots in the distance, whatever it may be. They've always packed a fantastic audio uh, punch and it's compatible with some of the stuff you see on PS5 and Xbox with their you know audio enhancements and, and surround sound and all that. So it works well. Uh, price is good, comfort's good versatile so why would you not want to pick this up uh it's durable it's got that plastic hard plastic like a lot of uh, turtle beach headsets and a lot of headsets out in the market right now it's got that metal banding here uh that just keeps that reinforced on the ear cups and also on the bands so if you're playing around with it and you know twisting it like some people do uh you're not going to easily break it or the kids get into it whatever it be uh, may be but you know take care of your headset don't chuck it around it's going to be fine uh so overall fantastic product wish comfort was a little bit better but Audio's there, features are there, 
plug that bad boy into your recon controller and you will not regret it. So thank you guys for tuning into this quick review. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. We are dropping weekly episodes of The Rundown, whether it's tech reviews, game reviews, whatever it is. We have got it for you guys. So thank you once again for tuning in. I was your host, James G. We took a look at Turtle Beach's Recon 200. It's the Gen 2 version retailing for $59.95. So please don't miss out on this fantastic product. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode of The Rundown. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.